Hello everybody. I have just gotten something in the mail. Something I'm extremely excited about. And I know what you're thinking. With a beard like this, who could resist watching this video from the beginning to the end? You can't. <sighs> anyway, so I just got it in the mail. A uh, new mod that I uh, purchased off of eBay. Really excited about it. I just ripped right into the wrapper. And it came in this nice little case. I I don't enjoy these cases. Everything falls out of them. There's little nets in there. They just fall all over the place. Up to now, I've been smoking the Anakin I Taste VTR. Um, I've tried all kinds of different mods. This has been my favorite. I like being able to use the variable voltage, variable watt mod, but this is a little different for me. When you open it up, you see a bunch of stuff. It, you know, don't be intimidated. They give you a nice little charger. Uh, I did open it a little early and uh, charged up the battery so I could show you. Uh, they give you a couple drip tips. For uh, the Nimbus clone. Here's one of the drip tips here. And the other one is in a real tiny Ziploc bag. What's the point of a Ziploc bag? To hold something that just will rattle around anyway? I, I, I don't get the concept. This is the other drip tip. Uh, I did have another one. It's an ox drip tip and uh, it kind of rattles around in it and it leaks some air through it and doesn't give you the vape that you would require. They give you some wick and some extra wire. Uh, I don't think I'll be using this. Uh, it seems pretty cheap so I'm not going to use that. And this is a Nimbus clone. This isn't the real deal but it's pretty good. It's not a Nimbus, even though it says Nimbus. It is a clone. And the drip tip will fit right in, like so. Uh, different from the Nimbus, this one does not have Phillips screwdriver uh, screws in it. It has little Allen wrench screws. Not excited about that. Uh, Going to have to find a nice little bit for it. Eh, minor inconvenience. Uh, they give you a little battery. I'm not familiar with this battery. It says it's a 18350 900 milliamp hour 3.7 volt battery. Eh, I don't know much about those. Then they give you a much nicer battery. This one is a 18650 2000 milliamp hour 3.7 volt battery. Now, what I use in my Enokin is a 18650, it's a 3500 milliamp hour battery. Same voltage, 3.7 volts. They give you a little instruction card. It's worthless. Because it doesn't really go through this at all. This little thing. I am shocked with. Got your lock ring. Of course, there's your power for it. I watched a review from another guy, and he said, never forget to turn that to the lock position because you will burn the hell out of your pants. So, I'm not going to make that mistake. But this will open up and extend for different battery sizes which is kinda nice because you're not limited to what you can use me I'm gonna use the uh, 18650 battery in it but 
we'll go ahead and open this up and get the battery installed. Super, super nice uh, mod. I really enjoy it. Bear with me. I tighten it up a little bit to make sure that it's getting a real solid connection on it. It is a standard 510 connection. It's it'll fit anything that you can put on it. I think. It doesn't look like it has outside threads. So I just lied to you. It'll only fit tanks that have a 510. <sighs> Alright. Well, I'm going to go ahead and, well, I'll show you. Well, it's not going to be as easy without it connected, so I'll go ahead and connect it. I'm still learning this thing. I'm learning it. Alright. So, to fill this tank, you have to remove the outside cap. Okay, and on the inside, you're going to see three screws. You're going to, the middle is your positive, and each screw on the outside is going to be your negative. And what you'll do is you'll make a coil. You can coil it around your wick. Um, I'm brand new to this, so uh, I've seen on YouTube a bunch of different videos as far as how to build your wicks. There's the Double Dragon Deluxe Super Fantastic Fabuloso coil. Uh, we'll get there. This is what came with it. Uh, not impressed. Not impressed at all. It does serve the purpose, and it works, as you can tell. I shot a little bit of that all over the place. Sorry about that. How's your eyes? Well, do you need my specta shades? Specta shades. We'll call them that. They're transition lenses. I really enjoy them. You should get those too. Maybe I should do another review video on those. Anyhow, I did use the hazelnut coffee at first. This is uh, 24 milligram. Don't do it. It's uh, really harsh. Hurts your throat. Makes you wheeze. What you'll want to do is you'll want to use something that's uh, half of that. So I've got some Lotus tobacco here. I got it at the 70s Rock Shop in Inglewood. Or Union. And uh, that was a little bit more soothing. So I'm going to have to take a trip up to Jojo Vapes and get some hazelnut coffee at 12 milligram of nicotine but anyway what we're going to do is we're going to open this up and what you'll do is you'll end up dampening the wicks so you just give it a little bit there a little bit right yonder always put your lid back on you don't want that shit spilling it's nasty but as far as I'm to understand, there are holes on the Nimbus. These holes are for airflow, and you want to make sure that you line those up with your coil. Just like that. The airflow will go through the coil and keep the coil kind of cooled down. You don't want to get in too hot, you'll burn yourself, burn your throat. Haven't done it yet, but we'll get there. You want to make sure that there's nothing blocking your airways, so you'll just give it a little bit of a, a toot. Now, the, the thing that got me into this the most was the vapor production. I want a cloud. I want thunderstorms and lightning shooting out of my cloud. So, this is a decent cloud production. I mean, I enjoy it. It's nice. I enjoy it. I burn at 10 watts. Uh, whatever tank I can get my hands on, I'll burn it. This is a point a point eight ohm uh, tank. And how I found that out is the Inic and I Taste VTR has a nice little resistance meter on it. I'd use the Fluke, but no. 
So, hit that button. Whoop. No, it showed it, didn't it? It's backwards. I see it backwards. There. Okay, it's one ohm now. Okay, it's apparently not a very good resistance meter. Or maybe it just changed. Hell, I don't know. The coil might have gotten a little bit closey, closey. Anyway, we'll put this on here and get to the, the, the real business here. Okay. Cloud production. I love it. I didn't hear the thunder. Give it a minute. That's tough. That is a cloud. Man. Just an absolute gigantic difference from what I'm used to. I'm not used to having to do the uh, full inhale that cuts the mouth clear out of the equation. The only thing it's there for her lips. <laughs> it's gonna take me some getting used to, but it's it works, man. Just a little bit of juice, man, goes a long way. It burns up really quick, but you don't need it. You don't need a lot. Not at all. <sighs> Similar. See, yeah, I'm already burnt up. I already cleared it. So, we're going to put some fresh on there. Man, this is, this is bizarre. Okay. Give me a second. I'm going to go get my ox head. Quit crying. I have returned. All right. There's my Kanger tank. Something full of hot cocoa. I'll post another video to explain that. That's a whole different experience. You like some, you don't like some. It's just like presidents. Do you like Obama? I don't care. George Bush is the real president. <laughs> Hazelnut coffee. I love it, man. It's 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 by far my favorite. <sighs> but I, I, I do like this uh, Mojave Gold. They got it, JoJo Vapes. That's a real good flavor. Uh, if you're looking for something, to me it kind of tastes like, like a sweet tea. I enjoy, 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 enjoy that. Well, I'm going to switch that out. And I'm going to put my ox head on there. Just because, you know... Like I said, this does leak a little bit of air. Man! <laughs> That's awesome! Ah, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can't even get a circle. What happened to the vape? It's whatever. I, I try to be fancy. I'm not. Man, that is that is some cloud. I'm gonna I'm gonna try something. 
All right. I'm just having fun. I'm having too much fun, honestly. I really enjoy this, guys. I would recommend going out and getting you one. Actually, you don't have to go anywhere. You go on eBay. Uh, I've seen these on uh, at stores, and I've seen them for 40 bucks just for the mod, uh, which it's a telescope mod. I, I I wouldn't pay 40 bucks for one. No way. Uh, the reason I got this one is I found it with the two batteries, battery charger, two uh, drip tips, uh, case, crappy coil, crappy wire, uh, crappy wick. But I would I would definitely recommend this Nimbus clone. That's that's where it's at. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I haven't used it on my... This is new. See, this is why I'm here. This is... We're going to work together. Me, you, the world. The world. Who's knocking at your door? The world's knocking at your door. And I'm with them. Leading the pack. That's... <sighs> See, my wife is in the other room. See? Thank goodness, because she'd be making fun of me. Now it's at point .9 ohm. Point .9. Let's give it a shot on my VTR. Just as much vapor production. Man! I was still blowing smoke out when I was talking. Amazing. What an amazing vape. What an amazing vape. Guys, go out get one. Uh, start slow. Start with an Ego. Uh, maybe even start with an Ego Twist. It's a variable volt mod. Really nice little battery. Uh, Dale. Dale's got one. Uh, my parents, they both have the SID batteries. I went out and got them the SIDs. And they enjoy the hell out of them. Uh, me, I went straight from the Ego T or something like that to the Enic and I Taste VTR. Really enjoyed it. Vaped on it for probably three months. Uh, now I'm on to what this is. This is the K101 with a uh, Nimbus clone tank. Uh, I will be posting more videos. Uh, I'm going to be experimenting with this mod. Uh, because I do plan on making my own. And, uh, hello, sexy woman. Come here, come here, come here, sexy, sexy lady. Come here! I don't think so. She's bashful. <laughs> but, uh, I completely lost my train of thought. Um, go get one. Try it out. They've got something for everybody that smokes. Uh, definitely recommend it. My dad is 76. He's been smoking since he was six. 70 years. Uh, when he quit, he was at three packs to almost four packs a day. That's a lot of dough. You can't even make banana bread out of it. He hasn't touched a cigarette since he started. Super proud of him. My mom, she's 65, done the same thing. Sexy lady, come here! Please, come here! Come here, sexy lady. Just show your face once. Pop it in the corner here. She's really sexy. Anyway. Yeah, he's mine too. Alright. Just go get one. Enjoy it. Uh, don't waste any time. Say hi. Hi. Wave. You can't. There you go. Now, tell them how much you love them. Tell them how much you love them. I love to. You'd love to. All right.
tell them to go get e cigs. Cigs. Okay. <laughs> My little promoter. <sighs> Thanks for watching.